plus size grandma reality show. This is Coco Booting. Yes. What are y'all up to? I want to say thank you all for listening to me. Um, I'm starting to see more states on and everything. And um, oh, I'm, I'm just excited about that. The new listeners. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you come in peace, love, and good spirits because that's truly what I'm about is some peace, love, and good spirits. So what can we talk about today? (laughs) What we got going on today, folks? Okay. (laughs) Okay, so let me tell you what I got going on today. It's actually, I have uh, rested today. I needed that rest. If you know me on Thursdays, it's the day when I usually just take a rest and don't do much of anything. So, I haven't done much of anything (laughs) today. But it's always... never do these things and turns out that the very thing that I said I would never do is the very thing that's actually keeping me afloat right y'all give me a second I was here breaking down boxes I got so many boxes in here I can't I can't deal with it and when we when we go outside I'm gonna finish that conversation up okay but right now I gotta tie this box I be getting y'all started and then I change up the conversation. You know, I think that's just, I don't know why I do that. I don't make excuses for it. I just tell you that that is what I do. Maybe it's, it's, I don't know. Anyways, I'm outside now. I had to get this. Ooh, what's that? A bee. Ooh. I had to get this trash out. Welcome to the chat. If you are on the chat, thank you. Thank you, thank you. What in the world? Anyways. So let me tell y'all the latest. Last night, I did. Mm-hmm. I got on... FaceTime, not FaceTime, but Facebook Live last night because I I was outside and I had just finished up my camera podcast when I noticed that it was this big hologram on the side of my trailer and it was of an evil face. So I went on Facebook to see if anybody else could see it. Well, nobody never said if they could see it or not, but... Anyway, that just lets you know that the evil, evilness is still going on, but so is the goodness of God. Now, the thing I had to do differently, now I'm at a position where both commodes are not working. And no, I don't have the money to get somebody to fix it right now, and there's nobody I can borrow from, and... And pretty much, it is a keep going, just keep going, just keep going. And I'm going to buy some stuff, though, to try to clear out these commodes. Because I don't know what they put in them to stop them up like that. But once they get stopped up, it's like, even when I used the little snake thingy, I couldn't get it to go down. 
So one commode has been down for almost a year now. And the second commode has been down for now going on, I want to say, maybe three weeks. This is the third week. And it's getting, well... It got to the point where, like, can't do nothing in it. And, like, so if I got to use the bathroom, I have to, you know, get some type of potty stuff, you know. And, uh, so t the last two days, it's been like, I don't always have the energy to get up and just leave and go to a store or something like most people do. So I'm having the result to some old fashioned techniques that we used to use back in the day when we had outhouses and stuff like that. And so I had to end up, you know, just laying some, some padding down and, and doing my business like that. And, you know, take the wash off or whatever afterwards. And I've got gloves for everything. I got everything I need to have a successful bathroom use without a bathroom so thank god for that but i could tell you that it was different it was different the squat and i tell you those squats that i was doing thank god they paid off because having the squat like that at my size and i'm i'm heavy so having the squat like that at my size and and try to just hold the, the pasta there that ain't nobody but God for real. And anyways, I I did it. But I don't plan on doing that long because it also hurts on my knees. But I was thinking about that today and I've I've tried to call a few people around and see if they got like a potty that I could use until my commode gets fixed. Hopefully soon. Hopefully they will get back with me soon. Very soon because it's not it's not easy as it sounds coming out of my mouth, okay? But it's doable. And I didn't too much like it because it's, even though it's doable, it's kind of messy. So I had to put stuff down all over the floor, the bed, all that. Because at this point, I can't even use... I can't even use the bathroom to do it. I have to, like, go to one of the bedrooms. I know I'm giving y'all too much information, but preferably I'm helping somebody understand that your condition doesn't define who you are as a person, as a child of God. Because I can tell you, this is the last thing I ever want to see myself in this shape. And when I see people preying on the homeless and stuff, you know, because I, I think about that a lot. It could be me. It All it takes is these people lying on you. Somebody hiring somebody to do something to you, to your home, for you to become homeless. And I think about that. I pray against that. Even though I'm in the situation I'm in and having to use the bathroom how I use it, I don't feel, I don't feel shamed of where I'm at and stuff. Because I got to thank God that the whole time that I've been working out in these fields and helping other homeless people and you know, when they got displaced, I was able to place them in shelters and stuff um, a few years ago when I was doing all this charity work and stuff. And all it takes is one person to spread a lie and start telling lies to get you to a position where you don't have any help. And I was thinking about this deeply in my heart, thinking about how many homeless people are out there homeless just because somebody didn't like them or somebody didn't like when they spoke up for themselves or told the truth on them. Everybody that's homeless is not homeless just because they want to be homeless. Something had to happen. And that's the way I, I look at it. I mean, 
And you wouldn't suspect that people would do other people like this, but the the rich man is always going to be jealous of the poor man. Because the rich man looks at the poor man and says that you getting all this stuff. Government helps you. You getting all these hands out handouts. You know, people feeding you, people clothing you. And here I am, I'm working day and night, getting heart attacks and strokes, trying to, you know, keep money in my pocket to reach a certain status in life. You know, so I can be with the elites or whoever they want to call themselves. And so the rich man is, he hates the poor man because of this. And I was thinking about that. Because when I look over here, like I'm sitting in my yard now, I think about that man I saw standing here in my yard two nights ago. He was a white male, older. No reason to be here outside of trying to run me away from my home. And I get to thinking about that. And, I, and I'm like, he's got so much money of his own. Like, what... The only purpose could be is hate. Hate. You be seeing them poor people out there and homeless people getting fed. You know why they can't get a break? Because they're hated. Just like me. We try to help ourselves and we stand up for ourselves and we do what we can do. And in return, we're mocked. We're laughed at. We're called crazy and delusional. Now, some do got mental problems, and because they couldn't be around people like that, because people don't, you know, those of little faith can't speak nothing out. They can't do nothing if you got little faith like those. What was that? Oh, I had no idea he was right there this whole time. Okay. I didn't even know you was out there. All right. I didn't know my son was out here this whole time. Ted crunk up and I was like, what in the world is that? It's him. Okay. So, but, um, whew, then threw me off a little bit. But I, I, I think about that and I look at my situation and I say, look, they, they take it. They don't just destroy it all at one time. They take you apart piece at a time. Piece at a time so it hurts worse. I wasn't worried about losing friends or even losing money. Not even with this house either. My main concern that I had was the things that was happening to me and being done to me. It wasn't my mental part that I worried about. It was more physical, what I worry about and what I pray about. And, um, well, I don't really worry, but I'm concerned about it. Because they have a way, once they make you sick and stuff, and you go to the doctors, the doctors are on their side. And so that, that concerns me right there. So that was my new thing that I had to learn how to do, which was I had to learn how to do number two, just standing over these padding things and squatting. I had to learn how to do that these last two days, and I didn't like it. I'm not going to even tell you I liked it. I didn't like it because my knees hurt, and... It was too much work. I mean, all together, I, I could take a good, it takes a good 30 to 35 minutes versus if I was just use a regular bathroom, 5 to 10 minutes. So this is, it's a process. Because after, after it happens, then have to do the washing and stuff. But I won't complain. I won't complain, though. It could be worse. And I just thank God that 
I'm able to do that for myself and prayerfully that um, I will be able to get this party, this this uh, party commode. surveys and stuff to make a little extra money they don't to be honest that does not pay good unless, unless I get some good surveys but see they took the good surveys away from me the surveys that were paying 60 to 100 dollars an hour 150 175 dollars for one hour of just doing interviews they took that away from me so I don't get that now I'm pissed about that <laughs> I am. I'm upset about that because I made I made a hundred dollars in like no time off of those kind of surveys, and I could and I was getting the extra stuff that I needed. <clears throat> and now the surveys I'm getting is probably like a dollar and pays like a dollar and five cent for twenty minutes, fifteen minutes, and some I I saw one was 90 minutes for only 50 cents. I skipped that. I'm not doing that. So it's, it's, it's a work in progress. It's just something to think about. I actually could just ask, you know, y'all. Let me tell y'all what's up. Let me see. Amazon Adult... I'm going to do this right quick. Adult. Oversized toilet. Y'all, if you don't mind. Oversized portable okay so I need one that's gonna be like I got wide hips Oh no, that ain't gonna work. No, three hundred fifty. Uh, y'all still with me? You still with me? Let me see. Okay, so I'm looking on Amazon to see if I can see one on here. I think the one I saw was around a hundred dollars. The last one that I saw. Let me see. Okay, give me just a sec. Let me see here. Uh, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> uh, let's see. They're called... Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's biatric. Okay, I see now. I think that one that would be the best. Uh, okay, so one I'm looking at is a hundred and oh my god, a hundred and twenty nine dollars is on sale.
It's $129. So I'm going to work toward, um, let's be honest, I can't work towards that. I'm already working towards other stuff. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so I got to be honest with myself. Every time I start working towards something, they do something else. And then now I got to take that something and go get something with the something that I was supposed to be doing with the something that I was supposed to be doing something with something back then. And nothing never gets to where I need it to get. So if y'all want to help me get this commode, because uh, I don't know if my insurance will cover it. But I'm, you know what? Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Let me check with this insurance company. Wait for this woman to call me back and see what she says. Cause if she uh if she says that that I can do it, then I can do it. If they say they that they can get it, then I'll get it through the insurance company versus having to come out of pocket. So that means I'm gonna have to be patient and maybe squat a little bit more on the floor until you know, until something comes through so i'm gonna be patient on that I, i'm not gonna rush it i believe it's a, i believe my doctor write a prescription for it it can be done yep yeah so that just cause all kind of stuff to, to that you have to change keep changing your life around to accommodate what they cause the you know the things that they cause to happen I'm going to put this back in the house because I needed some light. I needed some light. I don't like this lamp. I sawed it outside because I don't like it. But now I need light. <laughs> I'm going to buy a little small lamp one day to go in my little office area. Yeah, I ain't never want to have to come and be part of something like this. This here just... You know, and then after they do all this stuff to you, you know, I'm left here with it, and I have to still live my life beyond what's going on in my life, and it do kind of pull on my self esteem some. I haven't had a date, and I don't know when. And then the last date I did have, it was a setup. So it, it messes with all of that, to be honest. It messes with all of that. And I want to be more than a, I don't want to be somebody just smack a belly. I'm wifey material. It's just going to take me, it take a man that can, a man, it takes a man. <clears throat> That can see in my heart and see that they can see what I'm about. You know what I'm saying? God, it take God to give that man the vision of who I am and all that good stuff. Because I'm not giving up on love just because I have to squat on the floor. I'm not giving up on love because I can promise you more people have gotten drunk and squirted on themselves than I than than what I'm going through. You know what I'm saying? You think about those people who get drunk, and and I'm talking about rich people too. The richer, the nastier. So I'm not gonna let this situation stop me from still putting myself out there, the date, and uh, going in public and holding my head up. I'm going in public as myself. I'm not going in public trying to be rich or trying to pretend like, hey, look at me. I ain't got no problems in life. God has blessed me like this and he's blessed me like that. And because he's blessed me so much, I don't have any problems. I have problems. And I thank God for the blessings that he has bestowed upon me and how he has kept me through all of this stuff. I mean, it's just a lot of stuff, stuff. And I know that this potty is going to come in handy. It's going to be just what I need uh, for the moment till I can get these commodes fixed. And um, 
it'll be a thing of having to travel to the dump more frequently than the other than you know like once a week I might have to beef it up now because using the bathroom like this you can't hold that stuff in the house if it's not wrapped really good and thank god I got some good wrap stuff if it's not wrapped really good it it would cause a problem in the world my arms feel really hardened in certain areas yup so my dinner tonight is supposed to be some um I don't know my son will go pick something up and bring it through I got a lot going on, and at the same time, I just really am humbled, and I just have to keep thanking God, because, like, all this stuff, like, I I sit sometimes, and I wonder, how did I get to this place like this? I was doing good with my, in my music career. All of that. I was doing so good. And then out of the blue, stuff started happening. And I couldn't figure it out. After I recovered from one thing, something else would happen again. And I do want to know who behind this. I do. I want to know who's behind this. Who's behind this making my life like it is who is trying to get me to live my life according to them i want to know i don't want that question to be in the back of my head i know all the community people that i see always coming around and and checking and stuff but i want to know who ordered the community to come and follow me like this and to destroy my home like this and destroy, you know, bits and pieces of my being like this. Before all this started happening, I had two bathrooms working. Two bathrooms. It'd be times I'd be in the bathroom, my granddaughter be in the others. In less than a year, I have no bathrooms working. Last year at this time, I was putting in the floor, getting ready to put up walls and stuff and finish the other floors. And here I am. Now I got to stop and take away from that because now I need an underbelly for my home. Without that underbelly underneath there, that installation and stuff, it's going to be terribly cold. But before I can put the underbelly under there, which is going to be a tarp, now it is. Before I can put that under there, I got to get the pipe fixed that busted. Now that I'm saying that out loud. You know what? See, I told y'all we always solve stuff. That's it. I got to go write this stuff down. Oh my goodness. Do I got something in there to write with? Yes, I do. I got to write this down because... And get this lamp back in here. Because I believe that... That this can happen. I believe the best is yet to come. I still believe that. I pray this lamp works. Y'all, I got mad at this lamp. I ain't even gonna lie. I got so mad at seeing that lamp just sit there all the time. And, and it was dirty. And so, what I gonna do? I said, I'm tired of this lamp. I took and put that lamp out there on the porch. 
and the rain that made it beautiful. <laughs> the rain washed it and like <laughs> it's pretty again and so now I want it again. I want it again so that um I have light over my office area. Okay, so I got my pencil, I mean my pen out and stuff and um thank y'all that are listening and listening to me work this thing out. Okay, so what did I just say a while ago? Okay, we're working this thing out. Let's title this, Things to Be Done. Okay, so what is the thing that I need the most, people? What I need the most right now is water. Water and... And uh, bathroom, water, and commode. Oh, let me say bathroom fix. That's what I need the most right now, bathroom fix. At least one of the bathrooms fixed. The one that, preferably the one that takes the less to, to work with, that one there. Uh, what's the next thing I need? Is let's see the water bathroom fix and uh oh my gosh come on mine don't go blank water bathroom oh refrigerator because if I don't get a refrigerator soon y'all I'm gonna be these last few months eating out at this restaurant I think I've been eating out almost three times out of seven days. At the restaurant, and I do not like that, y'all. It might be cheaper, though, but I don't like it. So, I need a refrigerator. I would love to make my own salads and stuff and, you know, already have my meat here. All I got to do is boil it or bake it or fry it, whatever I want to do. I love having a kitchen that I can cook in. But we're not going to worry about buying any kitchen appliances we just need the refrigerator we get the refrigerator we're good to go so this is my goal is to get my water back fixed and as i said i need to stop leak it's a leak underneath that they they cause once i get that leak fixed then i can have my water back on once i get my water back on then I can start working on these commodes. But until then, uh, we will say that we're going to use the potty. I say we because y'all, we like family, okay? I say potty. And refrigerator. So I'm looking for a... I want a refrigerator, but I don't want it full size. But I don't want it as small as the last one was that I got. The mini fridge, I don't want it hotel size. I want it maybe a little bit bigger than hotel size. And if I can't get it a little bit bigger, I'll take a hotel size. Because um, I just need to be able to keep some meats. And, and like my microwave dinners in that uh, the healthy choice bowls that I be eating. Because those bowls was giving me energy. And I'm telling you, I stayed energized with them. So I got this out. Listen, y'all. I done wrote out the vision, and I made it plain and clear. Somebody take wind of this. I wrote out the vision. My water needs to be fixed. The leak. I got Pacific. The leak needs to be fixed. The next thing, my bathroom needs to be fixed, and I need a right now potty. Then uh, refrigerator. I need a refrigerator. And the fourth thing is I need the underbelly fixed. Underbelly and installation. That's what I didn't wrote out. And then we can start back working on the floors and the kitchen again. You know what, though? I have wood 
for what was supposed to be for the flooring in the utility room. But I can take that wood and put it towards the bathroom. I can have that move to go toward uh, fixing the bathroom floor and uh, redoing that commode. So, y'all, I'm not... I, I know how to move and shape things around. You know what I'm saying? Because, of the simple fact, my daddy, Marshall, taught me how. He taught me how to do these things. I had a good granddaddy slash daddy. That man, he, 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 he was an educator, and he taught me how to fix stuff. But I just got to where my size and health won't let me do it myself, so I have to hire people to do it. My son can do some things, but he needs help, so I still have to hire people to do it. Mm-hmm. These donuts good right there. Let's see something. Oh, well. Let me go back outside here. I wrote it down so that we can take hold of this when it comes to pass. Y'all gonna say that girl wrote that. She said that. I'm also write another one too and put it up there plain and clear about these people. I'm seeing how this look. Oh yeah. It's on there again. I can see it. The hologram. Or the projector. Let me show y'all. Uh-oh.